In this video, we are going to be doing the uh, antibody screen using the tube method. Um, the reagents that we are going to be using, of course, are screen cell 1, screen cell 2. We're going to be using the gamma enhancer lists because we are going to be doing the indirect antibody test, which is part of the antibody screen. We are also going to be using the what we are using here is polyspecific antihemoglobulin. And then if we have any negative uh, reactions at the uh, end of our test, at the AHG phase, then we are going to need the uh, check cells or the Coombs check cells. Okay, so I have already taken the patient's EDTA tube, spun it down, pulled off the plasma, and I've already made up my 3% red cell suspension, so I'm ready to start testing. So the first thing we need to do is, oops, go ahead here and make up our test tubes. We'll need three of them. And as with any testing in the blood bank, you must have the patient's identification. We're just going to call this patient X. And then you need to write on the tube exactly what test is being performed. So we're going to use S1, S2, and AC. So S1 is for screen cell 1, screen, then screen cell 2, and then AC is for auto control. Now the auto control is going to be a combination of the patient's plasma and the patient's own red cell. All right, let's go ahead and pipette. Now, our rule of pipetting in the blood bank lab is that we always pipette clear liquids first. So in this case, I'm going to pipette the patient's plasma into each tube. I need two drops. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now I've already mixed up the bottles of my screening cells, but I haven't mixed up what's in the droppers. So remember, we need to uh, go up and down a couple times with the dropper to get the dropper mixed up, and it's just one drop of reagent red cells. Okay, now S2. Okay, then finally, a drop of our patient's own red cells. Okay, let's give those a little mix. And then we will do our initial spin centrifugation. 15 seconds. Okay, so I've got my lamp here. All right, that button has completely come off and it is a homogeneous mixture, so I'm going to call that negative. Okay, that as well is negative. All 
Okay, and the auto control is negative as well. Okay, our next stop, step is to move into the IAT, or the indirect antiglobulin test. And what we need to do for that is we need to go ahead and add uh, two drops of LIS, and then incubate it 37 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, you can't see it over here, but I have a heating block. And I will uh, incubate for 15 minutes. Okay, I've incubated for 15 minutes the uh, three tubes. And uh, they are ready to be spun again. Again, 15 seconds. Okay, screen cell one at 37 degrees, negative. Screen cell two at 37 degrees, negative. Okay, and screen cell three, I'm sorry, screen cell three, auto control at 37 degrees, negative. All right, now at this stage, we need to do our wash, which in this lab we do manually, and it's a bit of a laborious process, so I'm going to spare you, and I'm going to stop the camera, and then we'll come back after the cells have been washed. All right, so the uh, cells have been washed, and now it's time to add our antihemoglobulin. We're using polyspecific. So add two drops of that to each tube. So if these red cells have been sensitized, this uh, antihemoglobulin should bridge the gap and we should see agglutination. Okay, one, uh, 15 seconds. Okay, screen cell one. Completely negative. Screen cell two, completely negative.
and auto control completely negative. All right, now the last step uh, is to verify that the AHG phase was valid because it can be invalidated for various reasons. Now, to validate it, we have to go ahead and add check cells. And basically what check cells are, are sensitized red cells that are going to, um, if the AHG was, first of all, added, if the reagent uh, is working properly, it's going to go ahead and bridge, the, bridge these uh, sensitized check cells, and we should see agglutination. So one drop in each. Now when I say we should see, actually I should say we hope to see, because if these do not agglutinate at two plus or greater, then we have a problem, which means we're probably going to have to start over. Okay, let's spin these for 15 seconds. Okay, uh, screen cell one. Two plus. Screen cell two. Two plus. Okay, auto control, two plus. All right, so everything is worked out and we can say with confidence that this person's antibody screen is negative.